was just after 6 a.m. on Monday morning and we had to get out of Dodge pretty early this morning because we cannot check in to Blue Water Key RV Resort after 5 p.m. It's a seven and a half hour drive from the campsite here in Chassahowitzka to Key West to Blue Water Key. So we had no other choice but to get up early this morning. I had most everything ready to go before we went to bed last night. Just a few things this morning to get ready for us to head out. But we're on the road. I'm going to head south through Tampa, down towards Naples, cut across the Everglades National Park, then due south to Key West. <laughs> So we're here at a rest stop and we are going to shake our legs a little bit. Mom said we had to do some jumping jacks, so here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, so we're ready to go. set up here at Blue Water Key RV Resort here in Key West, Florida. This is a luxury RV resort. Already by far the best RV resort we have ever stayed. I've just wrapped up getting unhooked from the truck and everything hooked up on the camper. We're gonna chill for a little bit, maybe relax after a long, long drive. Today we left just after six this morning, got here right at four this afternoon. Probably go downtown tonight. Let's see. So we're uh, gonna go cool down Mommy. at the pool for a little bit. I'm here chilling under our little cabana next to our tiki. Wow, let's go. Becca just went and started a load of laundry. So we're gonna do laundry. Then we're gonna go downtown. So about to go take a dip. Yep, just straight out our little back door here. Straight to the pool. Here we go. Oh, that's legitimately the first time I've ever seen Cash do a backflip. <laughs> it's pretty good, actually. <laughs> what are you doing, big guy? Okay, hi. My name is. Drove them all this way today, and now I gotta carry them on my back. We just got through at the pool, and it was really fun. Pool was really fun. What'd you think, Cash? Great. Met some friends. Mhm. Mm Who was your friend? Lita. Le Lynn. His name was Nardo, like Donardo. <laughs> They call him Nardo. So, 
my kids are great at meeting new people, but not so great at remembering names. So we are waiting. We've got about 10 more minutes till our laundry is done. Then we're going to get ready to go to the Hogfish Bar and Grill. Great spot down here. Bear found a little pink flamingo. Show me your flamingo. Look at that little guy. Good find for bear. You ready to go eat? Hogfish Bar and Grill. Here we come. Good morning from Blue Water Key RV Resort and lot number 33. At Blue Water Key RV Resort, they don't have sites. They have what they call lots and for good reason. Each lot has full hookups and your own private little arrangement that maybe includes a seating area like we have over here under kind of this cabana tent and every lot has a tiki hut ours is probably one of the more modest ones but still we have wi-fi tv a sink and cabinet have a full-size fridge and have a bar area we also have direct access to the pool and there's also like a clubhouse laundry facility just right over here the three different type of lots or sites are what they call tropical which is ours canal which are just up the way from us that are you guessed it butt up right next to a canal and then bay sites what's up cash man hey i'm gonna hop on the one wheel give you guys a quick tour I'm gonna show you what probably is, in my opinion, one of the more luxurious of the luxurious sites here, which is site number 41. Check out Blue Water Key RV Resort. here from what I've seen so far and in my opinion is the nicest site or lot inside of the RV resort check this out show you guys one of these bayside spots they each come with their own little swimming dock one of the neat things about this is most of these lots have owners so it's like renting condos from a condominium Well, from your tour guides, Jeremy and Cash, that is Blue Water Key RV Resort, a luxury RV resort. This morning, we are headed to the city. 
gonna go check out southernmost today is a full day of exploring the city let's see what we can get into one of the many stressors of RVing is gas yesterday I was about 50 miles from him we were about to get on the road from Tampa over to Miami that only has like one gas station and it's like 60 miles into it so I had to stop and get gas at the last place to get gas the only issue was all the pumps at that stop at different gas stations were out of gas it took us over 30 minutes to find a gas station and you're pulling a 30-foot camper makes it incredibly difficult one of the other stressors is the cost of gas in South Florida, especially Key West, where everything is more expensive. My F-250 gets about eight and a half to nine miles per gallon on a good day pulling that camper. So that's a factor when people talk about RVing being less expensive than just driving to a place and staying at a condo. I think in a lot of ways it all evens out, but the plus side of RVing is you are literally taking your home with you everywhere you go. We love it. We just parked and we're heading to Southernmost. 90 miles to Cuba. All right, we're next in line. Southernmost, baby. There we are. So we we're just chilling outside of the Southwinds Motel where we rented our golf cart from Fury Rentals. If you ever come to Key West, Fury's a pretty big name. They, they do bicycles, golf carts, boats, jet skis, everything that you can rent, they, they rent it to you. So we are chilling, just waiting until they deliver our golf cart here. Half a day is $150. That's 12 hours. We pretty much have the golf cart for the rest of the day. It's gonna be a good day. We're having a good time. Okay, we got our cart. Time to go explore. Cruise boats are here today, so lots of visitors here on the island. Just saw a friend of ours, former student at UAM, former Weevil baseball player, Cole McElroy. We just saw pass by us as soon as we started going, FaceTiming for a little bit. They're here on a cruise out of New Orleans. We're going to a place that's been recommended to us called the Half Shell Brawl Bar. Be there in about 10 minutes. Rita J, we found your license plate. Half shell raw bar, it was good eating. I had the conch fritters, everybody else had shrimp and chicken, kind of their normal get at a seafood restaurant. We are going to go check out the Shipwreck Museum. It's gonna be our next stop. Lots of traffic. And construction. A couple of cruise ships deported here at the Key West port today. It's made things a little bit more lively than it was yesterday. Not too bad. Still easy to manage and get around. Becca and I took a cruise for our honeymoon. And we came here to Key West and we took some pictures next to some statues where we got off the boat. So we're gonna try to find those. They are auditioning for cruise ship entertainment. I'd hire them in a heartbeat. When you 
you come to Key West, you got to get a Cuban coffee. There's a place I like to go called the Funky Rooster, but couldn't pass up some Cuban coffee queens. Pretty good too. Just talk to this fella. This gentleman right behind me, he is a tour guide for the city. I asked him about those baseball statues and we were right in the area where we needed to be to see those, but they have been torn down. And he said for no good particular reason were they torn down. So not sure why. On our way to the shipwreck museum. treasure. You get your coin, young man. When you get your coin, come here. Give me come your right here. When you get your coin, it's very important when you get it. Are you listening? Listen. That you grab a hold of it real tight. And you know why? Because look, if you're not careful, you might drop it. Whoops, there it is in your ear. Oh, goodness gracious. <laughs> now, mom and dad, you know, I, I'm, I'm going to get you. But you know, hey, show me. Do you know what that really is? That's a real souvenir. <laughs> oh, it it's good to see people that love what they do. And Captain Joe loves what he does. <laughs> On our way to the shipwreck observation tower. The Atlantic Ocean is right behind me, and the Gulf of Mexico is directly in front of me. a statue commemorating the wreckers which would whenever there would be a large storm they would sit out just before you get to the reef and wait for ships to crash then they'd go in and try to rescue those that were on those ships and try to rescue a lot of the cargo that was on those ships Truman Annex. Neat little community. Coast Guard ship that you can go tour if you're down here. President Truman knew what he was doing. Living here in Key West part-time, that was his little White House. Taking a little bit of a break, about to head out to Smathers Beach. Probably my favorite beach that's public use area here at Key West. Thank you. That nice gentleman caught a conch and is going to let us hang out with it for a little bit. We're going to put it back so it doesn't die. Let's put this conch back. Here, boy. What is that? It's a coconut? That's a big coconut for a little boy. Smathers Beach. Neat little place. Downtown Key West. What'd you think, Cash? Great. It's great. Good. Nice and cool now that we got in the water. 
Now we're about to go draw off, driving downtown. Check out this massive catamaran. Schooner Wharf Bar for the win tonight. Becca said it was one of the best quesadillas she's ever had in her life. I believe her. And it was the best one. I had the grouper melt. It was incredible. Neat little vibe there at the Schooner Wharf Bar. Had some live music that we got to enjoy there for a little bit. We're gonna hang out for just a little while longer and then head back to the campground call tonight. We had a great day here in Key West. Renting the golf cart ended up being a very good move. I would highly recommend it. One more thing before we head back. We went by this place that sells ice cream and these big fat cookies. That's all mine. We dropped Mama and Bear off at the truck. Willow and Cash and I went and parked the golf cart for the last time to turn it in for the night. We're headed back to the RV park. Our first full day in Key West was a blast, didn't you guys think? Yes. Tomorrow afternoon, we're going fishing. We'll see you guys then. getting the truck washed this morning before we set out on our fishing trip. Dima is a local guy who Blue Water Key recommended. He does vehicle and RV. I'll flash his info up on the screen. Now this will be just a wash, not a wash and wax, and they also do not do the inside of your vehicle. But when doing research, they are not car washes like drive-through car washes in key west even whenever i asked the lady at the front desk she was like i don't know if i've ever seen one so guys like dima i'm sure are in high demand already looking so much better dima knows what he's doing all right dima just wrapped up the truck check this bad boy out Looks good, Dima. Thank you, sir. Check this guy out. If you're ever in the Keys and need your truck or RV washed. He asked me if he could wash the RV. If he did a good enough job, if he could wash the RV. I said, absolutely, buddy. So, gonna wash this dirty RV while we're gone. Dima is from the Ukraine. We are glad that he's in the Florida Keys. He does good work. 
He thanked us for giving him work. We thanked him for doing good work. Now we're on our way to the marina to meet up with Captain Ange, short for Angela, to go out and do some fishing. Just arrived here at Garrison Bite Marina. Just talked to Captain Ange on the phone. She is getting her boat in the water right now, so we should be loading pretty soon. About to go catch some fish. I'll spend a little time on the sandbar. What kind of bait fish are those? So most of them are pinfish. I'll go through them and make sure because you don't want to have something that's not the right size. Sure. So like your mangrove snappers, your lane snappers, things like that, yellowtail. Obviously they all have a a certain size that they have to be. Um, so you have to kind of go through them and make sure. And then these guys are called, these guys are venomous, not this guy. He's a pinfish, that's the one they want. This guy that's in there, that's a scorpion fish. Scorpion fish? Yeah, and the nasty skin. get him out of there. Just put the chum block in the water. Get some of the bait ready to go to put some lines in the water. See what we can pull up. Yellowtail man. Yesterday. That's a good one. First catch of the day. Do you want a picture with him? Not here. Right here at me. Look at mine. Get that rod tip up. Good job. Nice job, girl. Keep reeling. Don't Yellow. stop reeling. Keep, yep. Reel. 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 You, you go. got this. There you go. Up and then reel down. You did it. It's exactly what you do. Up, pull up, straight up, and then reel down. Reel down, reel down. Yep. Perfect. Just like that. Keep that line. Reel. Right. Keep, keep, keep reeling, babe. Crushing it. Crushing it. Nice job. Yellow, yellow tail. tail. Right. Good job, Willow. Nice job. A little bit bigger. Ready? Good job, yeah, girlfriend. Okay. You want to measure him just so you know? Okay. He's probably, I'm going to guess, like nine ish, ten ish. He's pretty. He's very pretty. This one that counts when you squeeze their tails. So 11 and a half. We're close. We're getting there. About 11. 11. You need it to be 11 an inches. Inch Got to be 12. Got to be 12. Got to be 12. Keep. I'm fine with that. I think he took up to a swordfish or something. Yeah, Look at this guy. Okay, Cash. Good job, Cash man. All right, you're clear of the boat. Nice one. Speaking of mutton. Oh, no, that's a lane. This yeah. is a keeper. That's a good one, bud. Oh, yeah. That's oh, a great fish. Let me see your rod, buddy. So these ones different actually... Different fish. It is a different fish. These guys are fantastic to eat, too. Have you ever eaten lean snapper? No, no, no. So snapper, white flaky fish, just like yellowtail, uh -huh. just like mutton. Um, probably closer to... I would say a cross between a mutton and a yellowtail, in my opinion. Really uh, super tasty. The thing with these is that they only lean to, snapper. Yeah, they only actually have to be eight inches. I won't keep them at eight because you don't even get a little nugget off. This guy's more than that though. We might have got our first.
first keeper, dude. Yay. All right, let me measure him first, make sure. Here, watch your measure. Yeah, he's 12. Look at that hair. Yeah, he's good. That's, that's a great length. Nice they don't first they, keeper of get, the day. Yeah, they'll get thicker rather than longer. You want to hold him? You want me to just put him on ice? So uh, put him on ice. Put him on ice so we keep him. Mama's turn. There we go. Uh, what do we got here? This is a grunt. A grunt. A grunt. Kind of got that little bit of a hogfish lip to it. A little bit, yeah. yeah. A grunt. Grunt. Yeah, Becca. That girl knows what she's doing. That girl knows what she's doing. Really good at this. <laughs> Another grunt for Becca. So yeah, the one that was just an orphan. Another grunt, Willow, time. this time. Yeah. There you go, sister. Good job. Good job, dude. You gotta, you gotta be strong, bear. There you go, buddy. Keep Good going. job, dude. Keep going. Tom. Be tough. That's right. Be tough like your brother and sister. Keep, Keep going. going, dude. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. You got it. You got it, dude. He's coming. Fish. Keep going. Use all the bones in your body. All right. We got one here. Doubled up. Doubled up. All right. That is a... Look at this, buddy. Look at this big one. What? Yeah! That's nice job, bear. bud. What is that? Wow, that's the red, red grouper yeah, bear. Yeah, that's a that's grouper. Yeah, we're definitely keeping that. Well, actually, First grouper of the day. He's the biggest one of the day, though. Nah. Bear, smile at me. Look at me, bear. Look at me, bud. Well, don't stick your finger in his mouth. No. You probably won't. Woo wee! 15 and a half, bud. Nice one. Good job. Biggest Good job, man. Of the day. You got a nap and the biggest fish. <laughs> Everybody caught a fish, but we are going to transition to maybe go try to find some dolphins for the kids and then go to the sandbar and swim and snorkel some. This dude took a nap, gets up, then the first few minutes catches the biggest fish. Okay, how big was your fish? How big was your fish? Show us. A million. Tall. Show us, show us with your hands how All big right, he was. Kind of pull forward on this anchor and then I'll come up and grab that big.
We wrapped up our time here on the sandbar. Everybody found some cool stuff. Everything that was live stayed in the water. Had an awesome time. Captain Ange got out in the water with us and showed us around a little bit. I even saw a barracuda. We got a couple of starfish. Now we are headed back to the marina. We're gonna clean our fish and take it somewhere, get it cooked up for dinner. shark all right we just got back from Key West after we got back Captain Ange cleaned our lane snapper and we took it to a place she recommended called the hurricane hole cool thing about that place it is a local catch only restaurant they do not outsource in seafood it's only locally caught and if there is not enough locally caught seafood, then they're not open. Pretty cool. The marina there is pretty cool too. Saw a lot of fish, saw some tarpon, saw a big nurse shark. Got back and Dima washed the RV while we were gone. Did an excellent job. We are going to get cleaned up, get ready for bed. Tomorrow we go to the dry tortugas. Can't wait.